here we go we have a question minimum cost path so you have given square grid of size n each cell contains an integer cost representing cost traverse through that cell we need to find a path from top cell to the bottom right cell by which the total cost incurred is minimum so from an ij we can go all the four directions in this case we are here and we want to reach the last cell and we need to find the minimum cost so the path is first we have 9 then we go here then we go here 7 3 3 7 then 10 so the minimum cost is 43 so let's build the approach we have this matrix so we want to find the minimum cost i have given these guys indexes so we are here on 0 0 index and we want to reach here but on every cell we can have all the four directions possibility we have all four ways so there surely must share so there so let's start from here first we have this then we go this cell we are here so its cost is 13 so we want to store the cost somewhere so that's why dp comes in or an array where we will store all the values so we have this initially all value is maximum because we want to find the minimum value and we have this index so we are starting from this index its value is 9 and we want to find its neighbors but we will go to its neighbor which is minimum so for that priority queue comes in first we have priority queue its index is 0 0 and its value is 9 we have put 9 here then we remove this and we reach its neighbors its neighbor is 1 its neighbor is this and this index index is 0 1 and value so first its value is 9 so if we want to reach here its value is 13 which is less than the already having value so i can move on this cell its value is 13 and if i want to reach here its index is 10 and the value will be 15 which is less than the maximum value so i can reach to this index also the cell is 0 1 and 15 so i want to reach from this cell to this cell with having minimum cost so my priority queue gives me this value this cell so because its value is minimum here so we have this value then from here we can go to this cell we can go to this cell we can go to this cell if i want to reach 0 0 the value will be 13 to reach this cell and 9 to reach this cell so 13 plus 9 i think 22 so which is more than already having value so i will not go to that cell if i want to reach 0 2 0 2 the value will be 9 to reach here and 13 to reach the current cell so 13 plus 9 or we can get value from here or here so 13 plus 9 which is 22 which is lesser than the maximum value so i will place a value here 22 and i will add this uh, cell into my priority queue so we have traversed this cell this cell now comes this cell so its value is uh, its cell is 1 1 then 7 to reach here and 13 to reach the current cell so 13 plus 7 is 20 so 20 20 to reach 
this cell 1 1 on 1 1 we have maximum value so we can reach this cell so 1 1 with value 20 so we have traversed all the uh, all four directions the upper direction is invalid so that's why we have not traversed the upper direction it's time to pop the next value next cell next cell is this 1 0 and 15 so we have 1 0 and 15 so cell is this we can go up here and here if i go up the value will be 9 plus already having value already is 15 so 15 plus 9 uh, 15 plus 9 will be 24 so 24 is much greater than the already having value so i will not go up can i go here the index will be 1 1 and to reach here we have we have to uh, take 7 and to reach uh, to start from this cell we have 15 so 15 plus 7 is 22 which is lesser than this value i think i have not filled this value so we can reach to this cell with value 22 uh, yes with value to 20 we have already having with value 20 so we will not go to this cell because already having value is lesser so can i go down so down value is 80 and to start from 10 cell we have a, a value 15 so 50, 20 oh, sorry 15 15 plus 8 uh, is equal to 23 so 23 is ma uh, minimum so we can reach this cell so the cell will cell is 20 and 23 23 so that's how uh, we will traverse all the cell but we don't need all the cells we just need to find this cell if the pop value if the pop index is is this index if the pop index is the is the last index then we just return the value corresponding value so that's how we solve this question let's code this the code is simple but the main caveat is how do we find how do we compare the cells and we need to find the minimum cell first so let's take n and m i think in this case uh, n is n is equal to m not an issue so then we have priority queue and on priority queue we want to fill three things i j and its value so we have a class and i am creating object here so we have a class i j and x which is the value corresponding value so using the comparator i fill i j and x value but we need a comparator to compare between two cells and we need the minimum cell first so that's why we need a custom comparator in the custom comparator we have two cells two object in the priority queue and we want to compare these objects so we want minimum first so that's why we have to write this comparison uh, this comparison operator uh, so this code is available in c plus plus if you need the custom comparator in java just comment down below i will provide you the custom comparator in java so we need uh, this comparator in this priority queue so that's how we will add the custom comparator here and this will give me the minimum object or minimum cell first then we also need a dp it's in the it's a uh, its size is n and m and initial value is integer maximum then we also need direction to traverse all four directions so then i am adding the current cell 00 cell with its corresponding value we also need to fill this value into my dp so dp on 00 we have the initial value then we uh, just return our invalid value then we have a while loop while priority queue is not empty then we pop out a element a cell the current cell which is the top element then we remove the current element so after having the current element we need to traverse all the four directions so in the direction 
uh, we are traversing in all the four directions then we have new eye which is neighbor eye starting from this uh, starting from this direction plus the initial value which is the temporary cell temporary cell is the current cell and we want to move all the four directions so first first we have this direction so prior to you uh, the direction will give me first this cell so this cell is i0 means we are uh, we are having current row and j minus 1 means left hand side so first i am moving left hand side so first it will give me d0 means this value then i am adding temporary zero which is my current index current row then same goes for current uh, current column so i am adding this d1 which is the column and the initial where i am standing currently so this is ni and nj but this value can be invalid can go out of bound so if this value go out of bound so the neighbor is less than 0 uh, the row is less than 0 column less than 0 or row is greater than or equal to n or column neighbor column is greater than or equal to m then we don't need to traverse this is an invalid index just to continue this is an invalid neighbor then we need to find the neighbor uh, cost so this is the neighbor cost new x neighbor x which is the neighbor ni and nj is the neighbor index and we need to find the neighbor value so grid contains the neighbor cost and from temporary x temporary x is the current cell where i am currently standing so we have this cost and to reach the neighbor we need to add the neighbor cost so if this value nx if nx is greater than already contains value or equal then we don't need to traverse this will just uh, add into our priority queue but this is useless we only want to reach the neighbor if this is uh, if the neighbor cost is smaller if the neighbor cost is greater than already having value then we don't want to reach if the neighbor cost is smaller then we feel first into our dp and add into priority queue so the cell will be neighbor cell neighbor row neighbor column and neighbor cost so we have added all these but we need a base condition so uh, we want to reach the last uh, the bottom right cell bottom right cell is n minus 1 and m minus 1 so if the topmost element if the current element if the current element temp i row number is the last row and column number is also the last column then we just need to return the cost so that's how we'll solve this question but we can still optimize this if instead of writing here we are going to the neighbor so if the neighbor is the last row and the neighbor column is the last column then we just need to uh, return the neighbor cost so we can write here this is more optimized and we don't need to add into priority queue so let's submit this and let's talk about time at space complexity in uh, we are using priority queue and in priority queue we are adding each and every cell and we are not wasting every uh, cell again let's submit it again so we are uh, we are not wasting any cell again because the cell value is filled into dp so if the cell value is filled into dp and we are not wasting any cell the priority queue the priority queue value or priority queue and we are using priority queue priority queue uh, time complexity is log n and we are adding each and every cell the cells are n square so the time complexity is n square log n and space complexity is n square because we are using dp if you guys have any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section code is given in the description box please give it a uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you all for watching